Hello, everybody. Welcome to Cage Face. This is a um, horrifying game, I believe. And uh, let's, yeah, let's do it. Oh, man, I hope I don't jump scared. Kind of scared right now. What do we have? We're in a desk. We can, oh, okay. Oh, well, that picture, that picture is kind of not very useful, to say the least. I mean, we see that there's a very creepy dude. I think he's wearing a lab coat. And his face... Yes, his face is actually a cage. It's not a not a normal face. <laughs> and over here we have a little sketch of him, and that that's actually quite horrifying. There's something inside of the cage. I don't know what that is. It's a little flying. I don't know, man. This guy's weird. It's like a like a weird bird inside of it. I mean, that's the purpose of the cage, I guess. And that overall is what like a butcher's overall. What else? Let's see. Multiple stab wounds to the body. Um. The possible weapon used for such wounds could be a pickaxe. Well, that's not... Okay. I don't like that. Hmm. Two bodies were found in Subway Tunnel. Police earlier this Friday identified the corpses of two men known as P. Everest and H. Avery who were found in a tunnel within the Chicago subway. The cause of the deaths does not seem to be an accident of any kind, but rather a murder. Deliberate jabs with a sharp object, leaving deep wounds, have been detected on several body parts, such as the heads and upper torso of both men. Investigators have been scouting the area following the results of the autopsy, autopsy, stating that the punctures are too large to have been caused by a knife. Yeah, that's the pickaxe, right? Horror at a tunnel under construction. A shocking sight was discovered this weekend when construction workers went to check up on the progress of the repairs in a tunnel in Bristol. Three men were found dead. This is never good. Never good. Not three men. Two men, maybe. You know, maybe they were up to something, but three men is just... No. Three men were found dead, two of which was, appeared to have been the victims of cold-blooded murder. What about the other one? There are clear signs of horrific mutilation with a large tool, leaving both traces of blunt trauma and deep stabs as well. <laughs> Classic combo. The third victim, however, found hidden at the entrance of a manhole, showed no such wounds. Thorough inspections lead examiners to believe that his death was related to inhalation of toxic fumes. It is yet unclear who was behind the terrible deeds and where the deadly air could have originated from. Whoo! Mine shut down due to deadly gas. So there's the poison. Workers in a southern mine in Czechoslovakia are still unable to continue work ever since the poisonous gas started to seep out of the place. The sudden incident claimed the life of a miner. Right before immediate evacuation, a second person is currently in intensive care, having trouble breathing and trembling heavily. In addition, he suffers from the effects of hallucinations as he, as he daily complains about not being able to sleep, saying that the recollections of a man with a deformed face stalking him, haunting his mind. I'm just going to go ahead and, uh, like, my, my, my entire, I'm just going to, you know, I'm just going to summarize this and say, I'm going to rate it a no thank you out of 10. Okay, moving on. Um, telephones, no, no, TV, TV, the only thing, oh, sorry, couldn't wait. I'll lay some glow sticks, find me, record everything. Oh, and the VH, I guess the tape is going to be like the evidence, right? <laughs> VHS, dude, this guy doesn't even have Blu-ray. Ridiculous, dude. Oh man, no, we're, we're that guy that died? Oh, so we're going in to investigate, right? What is this? Is this the exit? The entrance? Can I just leave? Can I just, you know, can I just say I don't, I don't want to find that caged man? You cannot. You need to find... Okay. Oh, man. I'm going to get jump scared. I'm going to get jump scared. I don't want to get jump scared. Can I run? I can. I don't know if there's a stamina bar, so I'm going to save my run. Oh. Doing this. Oh, so wait. No, don't run. Don't run. Save the run. Always save the run. You usually run... run you run... <laughs> You run out of run. 
talking a lot. Not because I'm nervous. I'm very, I'm very brave. I'm not nervous. I mean, I'm okay walking around this place with the cage man. Oh, no. Where do I go? There's a little green thing there, so... Maybe I gotta go to the green thing because... It's like an indication of... Positivity. Why? I don't like this. Is this one of those things where I turn around and there's gonna be like something horrible? No. What's that? Dude, I hate horror games. I just discovered it. I'm trying to pick it up like Call of Duty with, with F, right? So this was a dead end. I guess not follow the green thing? Probably the green thing just means nothing. And I'm giving him way too much credit. Like for game design or whatever. Why is this so creepy? There's nothing happening. This VHS style, very cool. You know, like the little foam grain and stuff? No, no, what? What was that sound? What is this place? Am I, no. I'm just gonna- I'm gonna get jump scared for sure. Dude, where am I even supposed to go? this dude this is a whole lot of no thank you I wonder if there's a uh, there's no stamina bar so I don't know if I'm running out or what's even going on in this game of the, this is a game of the video variety a gaming experience as they call it Why do I keep? I hate when they just add ran. I don't. I don't like that. Like it, it's effective, but I don't. I think it's kind of like cheap that they give you like random little scares, and it it's ends up not being whatever you know, like the thing. That did not make any sense at all. I mean, like it's not the jump scare, like fake fake jump scares. But it's not the actual enemy or whatever. You know what I mean? Dude. I mean, look, I gotta give him credit. It is pretty creepy just walking around this place. Wait. Is, is that... Oh, no. They killed Billy Bob... Joan. How do you crouch in this game, by the way? Alright, let's... I'm sorry to do this, but... This guy was a clear noob. Oh god, I should... I'm getting the hell out of here! Oh my god, the voice acting. <laughs> I mean... Alright. Time to get the hell out of here, man! Let's... That's not cool, right? Murder is not... I am firmly against mur murder. I just want to, I just want to say that some people, some people would think that, that that's funny, like a meme, but no, right? I am firmly against the murder of that NPC that could have been, he could have been an, a nice NPC and now he's not. All right, so now we saw 
that this man is actually capable of murder. It's air. It's hard to breathe. Well, it's hard to breathe, you know why? Because of the poison fumes, you buffoon. Did you not hear about the people that got poisoned? This guy is pretty much a uh, big noob, dude. Honestly. He knows nothing about nothing about anything? He knows nothing about anything. No! No! It's a cage man! What do I do? Do I hide? What, is this one? Is this a hiding game? Is it a running game? Can I infinitely run? Oh, dude, this is not, this is not a fun game. What am I doing? I'm going back? I'm backtracking? Is he getting closer? There's nothing I can do. There's nothing I can- There's literally nothing I can do. Oh, come on, dude. Why is this so creepy? Do I What, is I supposed to follow the green light? Dude, there's- There's like, two dead ends. If I hit the dead end, this man is gonna do whatever he does to people with his stupid cage. Should I look back? I should look back. And maybe I should look back real quick. No! No, what the hell, man? He teleported! That's so cheap! He teleported, what? How's that legal? Oh man. Dude, I'm pressing shift and he's not running, this guy. Run, dude! Do you want to die to cage man? Oh, here, no, 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 cage man. All right. Whoo, hopefully he doesn't teleport. How did he get it? How? He was behind- he's still behind me! I don't want to look back. I feel like I should- No, I'm not gonna look back. I don't care. I'm not scared. This is just a video game, man. He can't hurt me in real life. Can he? He can't. No. Is that a dead end? Dude, if I hit a dead end, I'm gonna be so salty. What am I doing? Dude, but we're- the entrance had a- Okay, that's the- that's it! Dude, it's closed. Was I supposed to find a key or something? He's getting closer. The sound is weird. Oh, it's 1987. I was roasting for not having blue it. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. What now? Grab the beer bottle. Oh. Did it lose? Did it win? I hated every second of that. Every second of that was horrifying, and, and I hate it. Telephone. Hey. You're calling right on time, just as I finish watching. Oh, the we tape. made it! Pro gaming skills. No wonder dude. the guy turned Come out on. the way he is now. Perhaps I can interview him. Oh, we got traumatized. Anyway, looks like I have enough material for my new story. I don't get it. Then it might even have a name. Oh, okay. So this guy was just reviewing the material of that guy, and we were the guy that went to look up on the other guy, and the other guy was the guy that was dead because Cage Face poked him to death. Cage face, am I right? What a jerk. Alright everybody, have a good night. I'll see you guys in the next one.